ships at sea. Violent eruption of submerged volcano. Latitude 31 degrees north. Longitude 140 degrees east. All vessels and planes in the vicinity are warned to take every precaution against tidal waves and aerial turbulence. Another volcano eruption has just been reported from Miyoki Island. All inhabitants are to be evacuated immediately. Data, please. Data for the press. Doctor. Ready. Sorry, I'm late, gentlemen. Oh, Dr. Kuo, the earthquake must have been quite intense, according to the seismograph. Intense, yes. Force five. The disturbance is at Miyoki Island, Myojin Reef, which means that the Fuji volcanic range has become active. Disturbances from south to north, Doctor? That suggests other volcanoes may erupt? That is an exercise in logic. You mean Fujiyama? The eruption of Fujiyama has already attracted Gamera, who is inevitably drawn by any source of heat such as molten lava. A research unit is now leaving on a reconnaissance mission to determine what has happened to the monster. Is Gamera storing heat energy released by volcanic action or is he already cremated? All the nations in the eastern world are waiting for the answers to these questions. As soon as the research party returns, we'll bring you the story. I'm still trying. Hmm. Don't forget, the whole country is watching the progress of the Expressway Engineering Corporation. We issued bonds stating that this year the Expressway would go into service. And regardless of the cost to us, we must honor our pledge to the nation. Look at the map, Eco. 
We've almost linked up the two sections of the highway, except here, where a small group of villagers refuse to let our workers through. We have just been informed that the road construction in this area is actually halted. Hello, Tsutsumi, will you please hold on? Osido, I have Tsutsumi, the road superintendent, on the wire. Tsutsumi, do I have to remind you that it's your responsibility to clear out those landowners so that you can get on with the job? Don't you agree it's dangerous to resume work here in the mountains before we've at least heard the research party's report? Now see here. Neither Fujiyama's eruption nor Gamera is any reason to delay the work on the road. So quit looking for excuses and get rid of those landowners or you're out of a job. Dojo. What's up, boss, huh? We work, that's what's up. Oh, so. With volcanoes erupting all over the place. Mm -hmm. Take our gear on up to the road camp. I'll follow later. Okay? Okay. okay. I wonder what the scientists found out. that not a single body was found. Right. All we can say now is that the eruption had nothing to do with it. And probably not Gamera either. It wasn't Gamera? Of course not. Gamera doesn't send out rays. What? Sorry, there'll be no further comment till the zoologists make the report. Zoologists? No, 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 Put those signs. They weren't here the last time we came. It's those peasants. You get on What is it, this boss? They, they want to kill us. We can settle this immediately if I can talk to the honorable elder of your village. We don't have a Dobby! Dobby, all of you! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's the matter with you? Shame on you! I want to see the headman of your village. You can't see him today, some other time. It's important, I tell you. No, wait, I don't want to go.
They're beginning to work. If it wasn't for us, they would start the road building once more. Let us wreck the workers' barracks. It's the only thing to do. He's right or not one. Go and do it right away. Go, yeah, go, 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 right away. The longer that we can hold out, the more we can get for our land. The last chance for us poor folks to get rich and live like samurai. Isn't that right? Well, isn't it? Yes, but leave the tactics to me. Ah, oh, you did the shopping. Yes, grandmother. An expressway going through this mountain would mean progress for our village and more money for all of us, wouldn't it? Yes, although selling the land of our honorable ancestors is not that simple. Why not? Mm. Is Eiji in there? No, I don't know where he went. Mm. I got that sea story he asked for. Unload. Give a hand. Uh, those villagers are a greedy lot. It'd be a lot easier for us if they agreed to sell. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Hurry up. Here we are. Uh, what? Looks like a hurricane went through it. What's that? Oh, hurricane looks like an earthquake. Oh, oh, we haven't been back since we surveyed this part. Deliberate sabotage. Yes, yes. The villagers are at the bottom of this. No question about it. Well, we can expect this to continue until we reach an agreement. Anyway, the expressway must be built no matter what happens. <laughs> get to work. All right, okay, come on, let's get Hey, what's that? Hey, boss, look at that. What's that green light? It was never there before. <laughs> Smell anything? Huh? Smell what? <laughs> I've heard it said that a gold ore vein occasionally gives off a strong smell. Yes, I recall having heard the same thing. Do you really think there's gold there, boss? Yes, there could be. Oh, now I understand why those villagers won't let anyone go near the mountain. Oh, yeah, so that's... No reason to turn back, men. The expressway is going to go through anyway, so I guess we'd better check up on it. Tito, take over here. Yes, sir. Go. Oh, hey, uh, come on. A green light. That was naughty. You know that. Wasn't naughty. Just careful. Only people that are against the expressway ever come here. Don't worry. Hiking's all that interests me. Do you know, is there a shortcut to the other side? Mount Fudigo? Hmm. You're lying. You're a reporter, aren't you? Yeah. I'd be disloyal to our villagers if I decided to help you out. I see. What a waste. If I could just get a few pictures of that weird green light shining out of that cave, I tell you, it'd be the scoop of the year. Scoop? As important as that? If Gamera's over there, it's a great story. Gamera? Hmm. Many big trees fall like this? I don't know. Look, boy, in the woods. You, you know what that is? No, I don't. Let's get close. Like that? It's the first time I've seen it. A 
something there. No, don't do that. Wait, boy. Wait. You ever been in there? No, but as long as we're here, we might as well explore it. Is it safe? Careful. means there's another opening. Who's there? Huh? It's an earthquake! You hear that? Sound like voice yelling. No, but if you... Wait a second. You hear yelling? No. Come on. You're crazy. Don't come if you're afraid. Afraid? Who? Me? Afraid?
you know who that is, boss? The headman's grandson. Get 
us back on the ground. Out a green ray. He was really angry, and it hit Gamera's hand, and it was just like a knife. It almost cut his hand right off. You referred to the new monster as Gauss, did you not? Mm. I named it that because that's the kind of noise it makes. Logical. As a zoologist, how would you classify it? It's a bird. <laughs> a bird or a, a reptile? Nothing like this was ever seen by human eyes. Surely this monster dates back to the dawn of time. Will you explain the rays Gauss sends out, which have a potential of energy greater than anything we know? Mm. We have gathered data on that. Ready? <coughs> this machine generates sound waves. But because they are supersonic waves of 20,000 cycles, the range is outside the range of the human ear. This sound is used to replace the surgeon's scalpel. The supersonic waves emanate from an oscillator, which you might call a tuning fork, and are concentrated on a metal plate. The supersonic rays, when scattered, are harmless. Yet when they are in focus on one point, they are immensely destructive. The power is quite beyond imagination. These supersonic rays are about nine million cycles. The inference is obvious. We can only assume that the rays sent out by Gauss must be supersonic waves. The question is, how does Gauss produce supersonics? Slide. The answer is a hypothesis based on deduction. Gauss must have a divided spine. Naturally, the monster would also have a forked throat that produces supersonic waves. These waves have a magnitude which certainly exceed 10 million cycles. So, Gauss actually has two throats then? Also two spines. Doesn't that suggest the monster can't turn its head? Certainly it never did turn it, all the while that we were observing him. Then his back is his blind angle. Then if we were to attack him from the rear, we should be completely out of range of his death ray. Dr. Alchi, what makes that green light, you know? The sign of anger, or hunger. Many fish do the same thing. When stimulated by certain emotions, they produce visible light. If, as you say, this horrible creature dates back to the beginning of time, what could have caused it suddenly to put in an appearance now? Simple. The chain reactions caused by the enormous release of energy when the volcanic range erupted probably woke Gauss from his long sleep. One thing more. Regardless of the sacrifice, Gauss must be destroyed. I shudder to think what would happen if it decided to attack a large city. Colonel, you won't disappoint us. No, sir. Adjutant! At your order, sir. Execute Operation Green. Yes, sir. Launch aircraft. Hello, Air Base. Hello, Air Base. Begin executing Operation Green immediately. Confirm. There's a light on Mount Tago.
Charming Gout? That's right, boy. Pointless massacre. We'll wait till Gauss comes out of the cave, then hit him from behind. Too bad that Gamera isn't here. I guess he's gone to cure his hand, where he lives at the bottom of the ocean. Well, go. Can't buy any milk here. trying to buy something to eat, but nobody will sell us anything and we are starving. Would you at least sell us some milk? What milk? Every single one of my cows ran away. That is not our fault. You can blame cows. You road workers are to blame. Look, Uncle Sato went out to try to get the cows back here, but he didn't succeed and now he's crazy in the head. He believes the road gang is to blame. That's nonsense. You brought bad luck to the entire country. Gowers would never have waked up if you hadn't disturbed his sleep. So you two get off my land! Right now! And don't come back! Kiko, it's not just your place! All the cattle are gone! Yes! We've got to stop fighting! I knew it! Time to act! Call all the landowners together! Let's go. Mm -hmm. Who needs milk? Mm -hmm. Aichi, go and get washed. Hey, be careful! <laughs> oh, Aichi, I've told you a hundred times. Not so loud or your grandfather will scold you. They've already been in there three hours now. 
All that talk and they never make a decision. <laughs> Don't criticize. All right. It's unwise. You sell the land now. Yeah. They say when animals run away, we have got to expect imminent disaster. Maybe it's better to sell the land to take the cash and clear out. In all the years of my life, I've never known anything like this to happen before. We all know that if we want to sell our land immediately, we can't get a good price for it. Only I'm so scared of Gauss. Me too. I can't sleep at night because I'm afraid that monster is going to come out. You must not be timid. If you show you are afraid, the road company will cut the price way down. You want to hold out for top money, don't you? You want to know how it feels to be rich and live like gentlemen? Well, yes, we do, don't we? Then put aside your fears. I'll be responsible and you can trust me. Chaos is causing vast damage, but so far no effective method has been found for attacking the monster. This has become a matter of life and death for Japan. And perhaps for the whole world, the entire population yes. is praying for an early solution to this desperate problem. Sorry, boss. You're on leaving? Well, the work on the road is stopped. I guess we're all afraid of Gauss. He could come after us next. We'd like to stay, but since there's no work, when the trouble's over, you'll work again. That's boss. Kindly rehire us when that time comes. I will. Let's get started. Take care of yourselves, boys, and give our love to the folks back Don't home. take any wooden yen. <laughs> uh, how long are you planning to stick around here now? I'm still in charge here. Until I get orders to leave, I'll stay, even alone. Of course, you two are free to go. We can't leave you here. You think we're scared of that monster Gauss or any old monster? No, boss. <laughs> we're not scared of that Gauss or any old monster. <laughs> hey, Chief. You scared us both to death almost. Scared? There's nothing to be scared about. Oh, there's nothing. You're forgetting about Gauss. He might come out any minute. You needn't worry. He never comes out of his cave in the daytime. What? Are you quite sure of that? Hmm? I write down all about Gauss. He never comes out except at night time. Truly? Mm-hmm. At night. Certainly a nocturnal animal, and therefore... hides during the day, appears at night. That would explain why we never did see him while we were making that daylight jet attack. That means we only have to be careful at night time. Isn't that right? Colonel. Are there big flares that can light up the countryside as bright as daytime? There is the AGIL anti-gorilla flare. It's true that it's still under development, but I'll be glad to test it now. If you gentlemen advise it. I definitely think that it is worth trying. We should also warn the entire population to turn on all their lights. Hey, you. What did you go inside if you're afraid? Of course, talking. You, you got the shakes the same oh, as I, I do. I, I'm only shivering because it's cold tonight. Ah, I didn't even notice it's cold. Ah. Ah, the monster! The monster! Ah. Relax, boys. That's only a big flare to keep Gauss away. Six million candle power, which is about four times stronger than the full moon. We were only kidding. We knew it was a flare. <laughs> Gals can't come out now. <laughs> we can't be too sure of that. We gotta keep watch all night. That's right. We are nearer to it than anyone else. So we'll have to signal in case Gauss comes out. Yes, sir. Here, catch. A sleeping bag and a radio. Uh, I, I'll take the first watch, boss. You turn in. Thanks, Freddy. Keep the fire going. Don't worry. <laughs> Hit the hay. Not scared to stay alone? No, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> Let go. You. See? The monster.
Foster can't go out in the light. Good night. Sweet dreams. Southward. Alert all cities in central Japan. Evacuate inhabitants immediately. Repeat, this is an emergency.
causing widespread destruction and an undetermined number of deaths, Gauss soared back into the sky and disappeared. Where could it have gone? We've got to get a picture. Who wants to get as close as that? One shot would be worth a fortune. Let's jump back. He must be miles away. Let's go! Slow down! Get the shot! Get the shot, stupid!
fighting, I wouldn't have believed it. Ah, so, what are we supposed to be looking for? I don't know. All they said was to search the waterfront. Look, what's that? There's no joking matter. I'm warning you. I swear it, they were twice as big before. You're mad. It's true, officer. I don't know what happened, but when I first saw them, they were three times the size. It's hard to believe. We'll run a full analytical test. We might learn something which could be useful in coping with this monster. It's worth a try. Success yet? It's a daring theory, Dr. Aoki. Let's see if it works. The ultraviolet ray test. Yes, Doctor. What's that for? Cellular response? I don't want to predict the result of exposure. Yet ultraviolet, I think, is the only likely way of stopping this new monster. We are ready to begin the experiment. Switch. Yes. Ultraviolet literally reduces the mass of its flesh. I see. And then if Gauss were exposed too long to the sun, it would probably die. It would die. The moment the sun came up, his head turned red, and he seemed to be, well, quite ill. I see. It's sort of a danger signal. The obvious conclusion seems to be that our only hope of destroying Gauss is to expose it to the sun. Yes. But how do we do it? Its survival instinct won't let it come out in the daylight. If we could construct portable ultraviolet projectors, we could attack and destroy it. I, I'm afraid not. Theoretically, your idea is sound enough, but in practice, it wouldn't work. The projector simply wouldn't be large enough to be effective. And by the same token, if they were large enough, they wouldn't be portable. Meaning the only way is to lure it out at night, somehow immobilize it, and wait for sunrise. Let us consider all suggestions, even the wildest, for accomplishing this. 
It seems insoluble. Gentlemen. Angie! Say! Gamera beat Gauss, didn't he? Did you see it? How did he do it? Tell me what you saw. Angie, this is an important meeting. We don't belong here. Honorable gentlemen, accept our humble apologies. This is the boy that rode on Gamera's back. They are friends. Gamera saved you from Gauss, right? Take down everything he can tell you. Yes, sir. We humbly thank Let's you. Let's go! Didn't you get dizzy, flying around on his back, Aichi? Oh, no. He flew straight all the time without making any spins, like he usually does. No spins. That might just work. The way to immobilize Gauss is to make him so dizzy he can't move. Dizzy? Yes. The fluid in the eustachian tube, or the inner ear, governs our equilibrium. If we spin around, we lose our balance. We become so dizzy, we're unable to coordinate. We will lure Gauss onto a round pedestal and whirl him till he's too dizzy to move. The problem is the pedestal. Can we build a pedestal that will be big enough? We don't have time to build one. There's one right up there. Look! This is Transformer substation. All generators are hooked in on the line. The rating is now increased to two and a half times normal. Right? Very well. Substation standing by. Here we go. All set. Gauss stands 210 feet high and weighs 25 tons. Stork motor hooked up. Very well. Call that into the substation. Sobi, how in the world do you ever intend to your Gauss here? That's the big surprise. Hello? This is Merry-Go-Round. The pedestal's fully reinforced. Acknowledged. Paco! Sir, no report from the medical lab? Nothing yet, sir. Anything yet? A little progress. Check. Look. Your slides so positive? So far. All right. All right. Oh. Keep lowering. All right. Up, sir. You too. Shell's locked into position. Check the gauges. Sure. Hey, boss. What's that? Why, a special kind of bird bath. You see, Gauss eats people. So the strategy is to lure him out by something that smells and tastes like human blood. No one's been able to make synthetic blood yet, but this stuff has the same taste and smell. You think it'll bring him here? According to the scientists, it should. Now get back to work. Sure. Okay. Observation post standing by. Very well. Observation post standing by. Ready to move headquarters. Execute. Boss, we got visitors. Thanks. Mr. Tsutsumi. Can I have a word with you? All right, what is it? The village is no longer opposed to road. We decided. We're ready to sell at your price, sir. All right? Well, now that the work has stopped, oh, the road may not go through your land. You can Please persuade the company to, to the buy contract. our property. Now, wait a moment. My hands are tied. It's up to the company. Thank you. Boss! Come on, come on. Yes. You can't fool me. I know what you've been up to. How many times do I have to tell you that if you show weakness now, you're going to lose everything? Can't you get that through your thick heads? 
If we're not able to sell now, we never will. He said they may change the course of the road. I'll carry on the negotiations. Don't try to do anything independently. Look out. Check the primary circuit. Any word from Dr. Aoki? No, sir. The lab hasn't reported yet. Not yet. We are running out of time. Dr. Aoki! Please look at this. Yes, you succeeded. It's exactly the same as human blood. Uh, thank you. Honest. Thank you. Sir, the wind is south southwest. Velocity 10 miles. The forecast predicts good weather tomorrow. Colonel, as you see, the meteorological conditions are perfect. It must happen tonight. We're ready. Alert all military units. Yes, sir. Substation to command post, awaiting instructions. Command post to substation. Switch over to remote control. Switch over to remote control. All personnel take shelter immediately. Hello, command post. Substation setting emergency condition red. End the transmission. All right, then. Command post to pedestal. Evacuate all hands and withdraw to the bunker. Come on, hurry up, will you? Acknowledge. All circuits plugged in and functioning, sir. Good. One more hour till dawn. Start operations. Gow, the parasite. Coming out. The green light. He's showing. Operation merry-go-round has started. Stand by. Stand by. What are you waiting for? The smell of blood will lurch here. Yes, 
Increase rate of rotation. Can the motor stand the strain? They are supposed to have a life of two hours. <laughs> Full speed cannon. Hold it there. How long before sunrise? In three minutes. What's the trouble? Who teach trouble? Now what? Second break is tricked. A few more seconds. Oh, it's coming now. See? The top of his head is red. He's obviously weakening. Unless the substation holds out. It doesn't hold out. Our last hope is gone. The power has dropped below the critical level. What's wrong? It's overloaded. The substation's burning. last strategy for destroying the monster has been the total failure. Against a terrible creature like Gauss, our nation is helpless. We must all try to avoid panic, though our last hope has faded. If only Gamera was here. Animal one! Where are you? Come out! What is it? We'll never sell our land because of you. If we hadn't listened to you and had sold the land right away, we'd be rich now. You gave us bad advice. Now, wait a minute. What's all this about? What's all the excitement? You know. <laughs> Toku went through the expressway engineering offices. They're changing the course of the road. Oh, that's incredible. Why would they do that? A change like that would cost them a fortune. They said you're trying to gouge them. We should have our heads examined for listening to you. Uh -huh. You're responsible for that. So get the money for us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now be reasonable, you please. Get out of it, honored one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Out of my class. Horses. My men. Cows. Who's going to pay? I've lost everything I own. It's your fault. Get out! Get out! Get out, all of you! Leave my Chief. Oh. You bad, greedy man! You mustn't talk like this to your elders. You dirty, bad, Inside greedy now, man. Please. Hurting my Hello. grandfather. Excuse me, I know how you feel. And I'm so sorry for you. But I know that grandfather thought he was acting for your own good. He was only trying to help you all. Think a little. 
Don't be too harsh. He didn't mean to make you lose anything. Please forgive him. But, Miss Toku. No, no. Let it go. Come on, everybody. Leave me. He put that bad old gauss out of the way in a hurry. Mm. He can't stand Gamera's flames, that dirty gauss. If Gamera was here, those men couldn't be mean to Grandfather anymore. How could we call Gamera? We could make a forest fire. But why? You'd see. Gauss hates fire. And you know Gamera loves it. He'd go right to it. He'd go on getting stronger while Gauss got weaker and Gamera could win easily. Mm. But you can't burn with not on your land, can you? Oh, that's all right, sister. Set the mountain on fire and no one can say anything. Start a forest fire? Yes. But Gauss's vapor might put out the fire. In that case, we'd just go right on setting new fires till Gauss dies in the flames. Yes, but it would be a loss of hundreds of millions of yen in forest land. Don't think about money. You may not agree, but I think the gods sent Gauss to chastise our people. There's only one thing left to do, to clean our souls of sin, no matter how great the cost may be. Only through sacrifice can we hope for the forgiveness of the gods. Thank you. Great idea. Thank you, but it's really my grandson's idea. He firmly believes Gamera will come. If only we can start a big enough fire fire. I think he may be right. It's certainly worth a try. Maybe it's the only hope we have. Making it doubly imperative we do not fail. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to volunteer to pave the way. on the south side of the mountain. Sir, fire crews ready. 30 minutes before sunrise. Start the fires! incredible power. It snuffs out the flames. Rock! Continue the fire attacks. Go.
they'll get you. His head is turning red. Good, Gamera! You got it now, Gamera!
monster cows. Well, I guess you're happy. Now that you can resume work on the expressway. Yes, we begin tomorrow. Honorable one. They are starting work again on the expressway tomorrow. Are they changing the course? No, those were just idle rumors. Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> we thank you. <laughs> Honorable sir, we thank you. We owe it all to H. Uh, 